Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to download a pretty cool app from the Cydia store called iCleaner. I came across this app just a little while ago and I think it's awesome because it gives you an easy way to clean up a lot of those files that are unused and are slowing down your iPhone. You need a jailbroken iPhone to be able to download this software, but other than that it's pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is open up the Cydia store. And we are going to search for the iCleaner app. So once Cydia loads, go ahead and click search. And then type in iCleaner. All one word. And then you can see that there's a couple options here in the list. I selected the one that came from the Big Boss repo. Um, so in my list it was the second one down and you can verify that it's the uh, Big Boss repo just by scrolling down and you'll see it'll say Big Boss right there um, in the app. So uh, if you go ahead and scroll down it will give you kind of a list of what this app does exactly. What it cleans up from your message attachments, Safari, applications. So I would recommend maybe reading over that and seeing exactly what's going to be cleaned up and then the reason I downloaded this version was because it said it was compatible with iOS 4 through iOS 8. Some other versions weren't compatible with iOS 8, so I would just double check that before you download it. But once you're sure you have the right version of the app, in the upper right hand corner, just go ahead and click install. Mine says modify because I've already got the app installed, but if you're installing it for the first time, you should see it say install there. And the app will download, install to your device, and it will probably have you restart the device. Once you do that, you should see the iCleaner app right here in your list of apps. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and open that up. And you can see that here in the main menu, we've got quite a few options that we can toggle um, as far as to what we want cleaned up. And this can be a little bit confusing as to what all these things are. So I would recommend maybe reading up on it. So if we click in the lower right hand corner, it takes us to a settings page and in the upper right hand corner there's that blue eye with a circle around it. If you tap that and then read the iCleaner user guide, it will give you kind of a step by step of what all these different things are. What is being deleted if you select it. Um, and just by reading this, it will help you so that you don't delete something important that you wanted to keep. I, the app does a pretty good job of, of leaving anything that's important on your phone, but it would be a good idea to read through this and have an idea of what you're doing. After you read through that, here in the settings menu, you can see that there's a test mode. And if you turn that on, it tells us that by enabling test mode, iCleaner will backup files instead of deleting them. Backup files can be restored or deleted afterwards. So uh, that could give you kind of another way to test to see if you're going to delete something important. And then if you do, you can restore it. Um, and if you have any questions about that, I would read the user guide on that. Then uh, in the lower center, the broom handle looking thing, if we tap that again, it brings us back to that opening screen. So you'll be able to toggle these if you want to change what's the default. In the upper left hand corner, you can click Analyze. <clears throat> and when you do this, um, the iCleaner app is going to go through and look at your phone according to the specifications that you put in. And it will look for files that you can clean up and get rid of uh, things like old messages, old attachments in your messages, uh, old download files, temporary files, things like that. And then when it's done analyzing, it will give you a report showing you what it can clean up and how much space it can save you. So before you clean anything, I would recommend, uh, recommend analyzing it first and seeing how much space you can actually save. And this last part takes just a little bit longer, um, but the whole analyzing of your, your phone should take less than a minute. Um, and when you're done, you'll see this log here. And you can see that my phone is telling me that it can clean up 
13,659 files um, and that it will save me 1.68 gigabytes of space which is huge because I've only got the 16 gigabyte iPhone so this is uh, clearing up about 10 percent of my device's memory which is just awesome. Uh, if you scroll down you can kinda see what it found that it can clean up. My guess is you're not gonna know what most of this stuff is uh, so I wouldn't worry about reading that. Really the important information is right here at the top. Um, one more thing, uh, down here at the bottom you can see this excluded apps button. If there's an app you don't want the cleanup uh, to run on, you can just go ahead and select it from the list and iCleaner will just pass over that. Um, so if you want to adjust that you can. Once you've got that all done, in the upper right hand corner you can click clean and it will go through and find those files and delete them from your phone and that's it so hopefully this is helpful for you guys I think it's an awesome app for for cleaning up all that junk off your iPhone if you have any comments or questions please post them below and if this video was helpful please give it a like and subscribe to our channel thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day